I'm Maddie Matheson, and I'm here on Avery Island in Louisiana, Chili Pepper Fields. Why am I here? Let me tell you why. Spicy food is getting very popular nowadays. A whole store just on hot sauce. Everyone wants hot sauce, spice up your life. We came down to Louisiana to the breeding ground of one of the most famous hot sauces in all the world, Tabasco. I'm gonna be checking out chefs and seeing how they use Tabasco in their everyday cooking. We're gonna be fishing. We're gonna be going to food trucks. This is, this is some next level fried chicken. <laughs> we'll be hanging out at amazing seafood restaurants. Look at this, are you crazy? Look at the size of this fish head. Louisiana is amazing, I love it here. Check out this pepper, baby. That's spicy, that's really spicy. That's really spicy. Well, shit's spicy out here, dude. Let's get it. The first place that we got to go was Bonafide, which was just this great little mom and pop shop, food truck. They serve just fried chicken sandwiches. What's up? What's going on? How are you? Hey. I'm Maddie. Oh, oh. 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 Hey. <laughs> How are you guys? I'm Bean. Nice Bean, nice to meet, meet you yeah. guys. Yeah. So you guys are the fried chicken sandwich kings and queens of all Louisiana. Of all New Orleans. <laughs> you think I can come up there and check out how yeah. you make a ch fried chicken? Of come course, on. yeah. We'll teach you how to make the Tennessee hot chicken. Woo. Oh yeah. Welcome aboard. It's right next to the medical center. These doctors, they're all walking around. I'm not the healthiest guy, but you know, I think doctors enjoy fried chicken just like the rest of people. A lot of people right now are really interested in spicy food. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, people seem to enjoy it. We just take boneless, skinless chicken thighs, take your hot sauce, and just get in there. Like, this is 10 pounds of chicken. You're not going to over, like, season it. Just go crazy. The sandwich was, like, a perfect thing. A nice toasted white bun, uh, some pickles, the fried chicken thigh, the hot sauce, and then sometimes they put, like, a little buttermilk uh, ranch sauce on top. All right, so you're going to be trying the Tennessee hot chicken right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is delicious, by the way. Oh, thanks. Yeah. thanks. Yeah. So what is your go-to? This chicken. is it, right here, this southern chicken. Yeah. Okay, Sweet. everyone loves that honey, right? Yeah, the yeah. honey hot sauce is where it's at. This is, this is some next level fried chicken. <laughs> the chicken sandwich is, uh, is so delicious. I just want to say thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah. We're so happy to yeah, meet no, you. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thank I appreciate you for it, man. Yeah, no. yeah. Here, come here. Oh, oh, here we go. Bonafide. There we go. <laughs> goddamn best hot sauce chicken in goddamn Louisiana. <laughs> you heard it here first. Bam, bam. <laughs> <laughs> We were walking around. We got out over to the, the art district uh, where Pesh was, which is a really cool, amazing seafood restaurant. Ryan, the chef, he's a really cool dude. We got to uh, spend some time in the kitchen and cook a really awesome whole head of uh, the cobia. Cobia is a, a fish that is an incidental catch at best right. down here. It's great, real meaty. Yeah. Um, you know, it goes great on a grill. Uh, there's no sort of moral baggage with this fish. Right. Are the cheeks on the Kobe good? Not is really. More, is it They're more small. about the collar? Yeah, it's a weird shaped fish. There's a little bit of meat up there, but really what's going on is the back, the back of, the of the neck. Yeah. You want to get it or what? Let's do it. Chef. He's <laughs> like the Matthew McConaughey or something. <laughs> this guy's good looking. We're out here grilling Kobe ahead. This thing's massive. It's like the size of a football. This is like the greatest way to cook, you know? Just look at this restaurant. Beautiful. So this is uh, this is sugar, mustard, vinegar, hot sauce. Yeah. And then oil. We kind of make a nice rich sauce. To clear some mint. Okay. Kind of yeah. Freshen it up and then uh, call it a day. That's the teamwork right here. Hot sauce. And why do you think that this is specifically good with the grilled head? A little spice, uh, a little fat from the olive oil, and a little sugar makes every bite interesting if you're really gonna, you know, tuck yeah. into a fish head and just make it all taste better. Damn. So right here we got the whole grilled cobia head. 
out here at Pesh with Chef Ryan. We got the vinaigrette, some pickled onions, some torn mint. What? Look at that. All right, so here we lots go. of ways to attack this, but you know, I think just going in and pulling out straight into the back. And build your dish there. Brock. I never thought I'd be eating a whole uh, grilled and roasted cobia head, but I am. Mm -hmm. This is a great day for me. Chef Ryan, <laughs> here, eat the cheek. That's the best part. Chef, let me what help is, you. Oh, uh, yeah. Just let me help you, Chef. Oh, is that God. nice for you? It's fantastic. That's nice for you. That's good for me. You treated me nice, and I treated you nice. <laughs> Thank you. This is Maddie Matheson, and I'm <laughs> signing off. That is good. It's <laughs> like, really good. Like, damn. <laughs> so the next morning, I got to hang out with my buddy, Alon. I mean, he's been really busy lately. Just won James Beard, best restaurant in America for Shia, which is his modern Israeli restaurant. Yeah. It's 5 a.m. We're out here at Port Sulphur. I'm here with my good buddy, Alon Shia. The bugs are biting. I'm going to get on the boat. World peace. Let's catch some fish. Yeah. Go ahead and bait up on one of them. Throw to them white PVC pipes. Let's just check this out real quick All right. and see if there's any specs here. So we're out here now. Alon is, is tethering out a little some live shrimp on a guy, a little a little hot rod here. And our, our Captain Clay, Captain Clay's taking good care of us, and he brought us out to this beautiful, beautiful place. Okay, watch out. I see you, man. Okay, Alon's gonna fucking hook the. <laughs> <laughs> But right now, we're fishing for some redfish, and we're just seeing what's happening. You think I'm all right over here, Captain Clay? Oh, he's got a fish already. He's already got a fish already. <laughs> we just getting started. You're doing great, Matty. OK. Here's what you want to do. Richie, Get that shrimp over, over to the redfish. OK. Just from you <laughs> to there. Boom. I got it. Now you just wait. Wait for that big bite. Ooh, got another one. Captain Clay making us look bad over here. We're going to go to another location. We're not giving up yet. Because you know what? Look at this. This is what happens. The fucking shit's all fucked up. Come on, man. What's that? This is going to be an all-rated show, man. This is Vice, my dude. We can say whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> That's what we're looking for. That's what we after right there. Sometimes it's just the luck of the draw. Luck of the draw. I'm going to take Captain Clay to the casino later. He's got a pretty good <laughs> luck of the draw. <laughs> oh. This is good eating here. Uh -oh. Ah, oh. Got to keep her, y'all. Got to keep her. We lost him, but we got him at him. Captain Clay is like the epitome of like, you know, a Southern gentleman. That guy is all class. You know, he had the whitest teeth, beautiful skin, and he just had anything that happened, he had an antidote. Hey, look, bro. I done, I done got hooked so many times. I had a guy hook me in the lip one time. The hook went yeah. through my lip, came out the other side. All we did was cut the bulb off. Oh, That's man. It. That's the no good zone. So once again, we came fishing. I didn't catch jack shit because you know what? Fish fucking hate me. And that's okay, I can deal with that. I can sleep at night knowing that fish don't like me. A lot of people don't like me, but a lot of people love me. Like Alon. I love you. Like Captain. Hey man, you, you, you okay. I'm okay, see that? Captain says I'm okay. So we're gonna go cook up some fish, get back to the mainland, cause I'm getting sunburned, it's hot as fuck out here in the Gulf of Mexico. And then we got to jump back into Alon's house. The beautiful Emily is here and their good friend Chris. So he filleted the fish, still with the head on. This is gonna be ready to go straight on the grill. Beautiful. To be able to watch another chef prep your food and to, look at that bro. Look how beautiful that is. But you could also just like throw it into some scrambled eggs or just oh. like steam it and put it on top of some rice with a little cilantro and jalapeno. Alon. I just got lost in his eyes. He was talking about that, and I got lost. You got I didn't, lost I didn't know where I was for a few seconds. You're at my home. I'm at your home. Show I'm some with, respect. I'm in your home. I'm <laughs> lost in love. Whoa. Dramatic. 
That happens every time I fillet fish. Every Remember time you fillet? Every time you fillet God's fish? like, that was the best fillet ever! Thunder! <laughs> so he filleted the fish, still with the head on, kind of like spread it out, flour. You know, he had this amazing curry powder uh, from Israel, cooked that in a pan with some brown butter, and then we just threw in some peaches, some garlic, uh, some red Tabasco sauce. Oh, man. That's nice, right? Super creamy, right? Yeah. Oh, man. And then we mm. took the bigger fish, grilled them on a big green egg. Oh. That's the sound you want to hear. It is. That's the fish singing back to us. That's oh. what's going on. He had some mushrooms and some shishitos. Everything right here from Louisiana, you know? The salsa verde from the garden. Oh, it smells good. It smells real good. <laughs> Ooh, he stuck some tarragon right up my nose. Use the red Tabasco with the, you know, the peaches, the stone fruit, the almonds. You're getting that nuttiness, a little more taste. And now yeah. we're making the salsa verde. And we got the green pepper sauce. Yeah, and the, the green pepper sauce with all those green herbs and the lemon really just kind of go together beautifully. Green and green, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, man, that was looking gorgeous. So you know what? It's always great to have like a balance of flavor in food. I like a little spicy, a little sweet, a little salt, a little sour. It makes hitting you all feel the notes. Something. It's hitting the notes. It's a good song. It's a great song. This is like, you know, the Led Zeppelin record that they never wrote. <laughs> yeah. Right here. Yeah. Maddie? We did it again. Chef. Twice in one day. Let's go eat. Ah. Woo! Chachi. Awesome. Chachi. Well, there you go. Those are the mushrooms looking good. Mm. Wow, desolate. I love this. This is so delicious. This morning, you know, wake up at 4.30, you go down to the Gulf, and then all of a sudden, we got a bunch of buddies out on a boat. These are the moments that bring people together. This is unity. This is socialness. Socialness? Not a word. I'm gonna say it though. This is a fully balanced meal with everything right here from New Orleans. Welcome to Louisiana. Chef. Hope we showed you a good time. Always the best time down here in Louisiana. Thanks for bringing the Canadian love. It's the Acadiana connection. I'm here on Avery Island to see how creative Tabasco is with their own hot sauce and see how it's made. This is the monolithic Tabasco world. We're inside the inner sanctum. Let's get it. Hey, John. Morning, Maddie. How are you this morning? I'm well. How are you? Doing great. Welcome to Avery Island. Yeah, man. Good to be here. Glad it's you're beautiful. here. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. Man. So this is the garden. This is the garden. You want to take a look? Man, yeah. This is the seedlings. This is the seedlings. So, well, these are, you know, full-grown plants now, but this is all for seed. So these, this farm is all gonna be used for seed. We grow pepper all over the world. In Latin America, we grow a little bit in South Africa and Zimbabwe. That seed comes from here. Wow. We've never done anything to modify it, change it. Um, we think spicy. the first thing you lose is flavor, and it's got a ton of great flavor, so why get rid of that? That's hot. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, open-pollinated heirloom plants. That's delicious, though. But the spice is real. Mm -hmm. You don't want to eat a whole one of those. No, it's pretty hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Maybe on a dare or something. Yeah. <laughs> we call this the mash warehouse, yeah. and then we call this the aging warehouse. OK. We started in the fields. Then we, we got to go into the fermentation warehouse, where it's just salt and chili pepper. Damn. What is mash? Pepper mash is ground up Tabasco, in this case, ground up Tabasco peppers and a little bit of salt. Right. So. And that is fermenting. When we open it up and smell them and taste them, you're really going to be able to see the difference, what happens over the course of that three years in the barrel. Just two of those pop off. So th these barrels come here, but the peppers have come from Honduras. The peppers have come, like, if, for example, in this case, the peppers have come from Honduras. Woo! So we have a little ceremony that we go through in here. Okay. Uh, for our guests to come in this building and taste pepper mash. So just we do like, a little bit between our thumb and our forefinger. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. Swirl it around your mouth a couple of times. And then, like I said. Pretty good, huh? Eating hot sauce makes you either cough or sneeze or start sweating. We just did it. It's hot. <laughs> we just did it. <clears throat> It's gonna have saliva, um, the saliva's building. This is like if you were to take, sorry, 
try to be cool on camera and then you're like, this is, uh, it's hot sauce, it's, I'm, I'm fucked. Here you go. Welcome to the club. Bro. <laughs> fam, almost fam, almost, almost fam. Almost, See, still not fam, they keep that tight. So Maddie, yeah. it's the end of my time with you. I'm gonna hand okay. you off to my cousin Took. Cousin Took. Cousin Took, that's him right cousin there. Took. Cousin Took. Maddie. What's going on? How are you? Pretty really good, how you doing? I'm well. Thanks for having me. Cousin Took really took good care of us, and he got to show us really interesting products. We got to taste a bunch of stuff. The coolest thing was the, the ice cream. So like soft serve with um, raspberry chipotle hot sauce in it, and then he covered the top of the ice cream with more hot sauce. That's a lot. That is, and it's not quite enough. No? Okay. And that was really good. It was like salty and sweet from the raspberry. And it was almost like like almost like a like a birch syrup or something like that. That was such a perfect example about the creativity that Tabasco's doing with themselves. And then it's my time to shine. I happen to be here at the Marsh House, the oldest house on the property of Avery Island. This is the family estate. What we haven't had is a traditional Louisiana dish and that combines meat and seafood. We got the foundation right here of the Avery Island mash. Now I gotta cut up all this stuff and make a gumbo. So we have the, the mirepoix ready, so I'm gonna go sweat this off and then we're gonna build the roux at the same time. So we're gonna do this and the roux. If you ain't got this spoon, you're not making gumbo. The base of any gumbo is you make, take your mirepoix, all, all your, your holy trinity, whatever you wanna call it, all your vegetables, cook them down. Then we're gonna cook and render out even more fat out of the, uh, the andouille. Let this just all come together. This is the pepper mash. So now we got our roux cooked. And now we just gotta add our stock, and then the rest of our meat, and then we're gonna braise and stew all of the meat. And then right at the last second, we'll throw in all that seafood, let that cook for about 10 minutes. We got gumbo, baby. Look, here's the gumbo. All these people are part of this community that build up this hot sauce. Well, I hope I didn't fuck it up too much. It's my first time making gumbo. I appreciate your time and bringing me and showing me Avery Island and all that good stuff. And yeah, let's eat, man. Hey, we appreciate it. It's always good. And like, we have some aficionados here of, of gumbo, so. Dude, is there? <laughs> it is spicy. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that gumbo was good. It's spicy. I put a bit too much in. I put a, a little bit too much. I think it's good. No, I think this is this is great. I love you put a half crab. It's good for have a Canadian come down here and show us how to do gumbo. It's good. So you know, I came down to Louisiana to check out spice and hot sauce. Hot sauce is life. It makes you good. We took that 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 river boat of the hot sauce river. That hot sauce river may be the same as the hot sauce river of life. I'm gonna eat this gumbo, enjoy these people's company, sit under this tree, maybe catch an armadillo. All right, take care. Love you, bye-bye. Bonsoir, mon ami. That's a shrimp head. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just eat the shrimp head.